What you doing? Hey. Hi, I'm Nikki Lynn Pugh, a.k.a. The Gentle Healthy Traveler. I'm a health coach, writer, and bunny mama. In 2022, I decided to trade in my high-rent studio apartment for a 1993 Toyota Winnebago Warrior. We are just three gals having grand adventures as we trek down the highway on a budget and learning how to stay healthy along the way. Won't you join us? See you on the road. Hello, gentle travelers. This is Nikki Lynn Pugh, AKA the gentle, healthy traveler. And Misty and I snuggling up on this kind of chilly winter day right outside of Austin, Texas. We're in Fredericksburg. We're actually all packed up. We're ready to go. This is our first night out in a long time. And I wanted to just give you a little bit of a off the cuff update to let you know what I've been doing. You may have noticed that it's been a while since I've posted anything significant, a little here and there on TikTok, but not much. That's because as you can tell, uh, my voice has gone up, down a few because I got the flu and I got laryngitis as well and I couldn't talk. And um, I am so blessed to have friends uh, who were able to take me under their wing, <laughs> let me crash out, let me um, stay for a while with Winnie the Pew. Uh, in a little sweet spot in their backyard in Austin, Texas, where I was able to recover. I spent um, Thanksgiving with them. Um, they have a ministry there and they are just the most wonderful, lovely people, you know, and I got a chance to really um, slow down, do some reassessment, um, about the gentle, tra healthy traveler, about my life, <laughs> about my health. And sometimes we really need to do that every once in a while, right? We just need to take some time out. And actually winter is a perfect time of year to do that. And when you get something like the flu, um, you don't really have any choice, right? You have to just kind of take some time out. So that's what I did. And I'm actually more excited than ever to um, get going again, but get going in a more conscious way, in a way that takes care of myself and really taps into what the needs of you guys um, folks that are committed to being on the road, seeing what's out there, um, but also being healthy. Well, I have to admit that what happened was why I got sick. One of the reasons why I got sick was because I knew that there was going to be a cold snap in Austin. And I thought, okay, I've got a little tiny heater, heater which is great. There it is on your screen totally recommend it just to kind of like cut the chill if it's about 50 maybe high 40s but it was going down to the 20s and I thought you know what I'm just gonna snuggle up in bed um, I'm gonna turn this little guy on um, I did have another heater that was kind of old that they lent me but I didn't think ahead <laughs> As you can see, it's nighttime now, um, but earlier today, I'm telling you, the temperature changed about 30 degrees. It went down about 30 degrees within about a half an hour. I was blown away. We all knew that it was going to be like, that it was going to do this, that the temperature was going to drop, but I had no idea it was going to do it so fast um, and, and um, so drastically and the wind kick out, kicked up. And so now we've got three days of super chilly wet weather. The weather has broken. 
and she is living the good life now. She's drinking water. She's frisking around. She even did a little semi binky outside. I just wanna wrap you up like a little burrito. Cause it's cold outside. Ooh, baby, it's cold outside. Hi! <laughs> I just wanted to say. This is what, 43 degrees outside and with a wind chill factor of about 35 and some pretty high humidity looks like on me. <laughs> Just want to say hi everybody and um, yeah, we're, we're, we're making it work, kind of. There's Misty, she's munching away. Of course, Misty is extremely happy with this weather. She's in her element. But I've got my little heater on. Oops, that doesn't need to be there. And I'm, I, I am going to be cooking some soup soon. <laughs> and I think my friend's going to give me a bigger heater. But You know, the thing is, is that with my body, um, I tend to be a little cold. Reason being is because um, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune. I was diagnosed with Hashi, with um, scleroderma in 2000 and then Hashimoto's again in about 2016. And even though I'm on a healing journey, in a lot of ways I felt be I feel better than ever before. Um, when you when you have an autoimmune, we tend to run a little low with our temperature. That means that it is a good idea to put into place things where we can stay warm. So I didn't do that. I was kind of like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna use this one little heater and this other little heater and not worry about it. Well, I did let my my internal thermostat go down a, way, a bit more so than I should have. And I know that when I let my <clears throat> internal thermostat go down, then uh, I tend to get sick. Now there's no excuse. I have an income. I could I could have ordered a um, a heater that works, which actually I did. I eventually, after the fact, wound up um, ordering this from Amazon. I'll put a link on it below. And my friends. They have a, a dry sauna. <laughs> so like, this is what happens to us when we're in a hurry. <clears throat> I tend to be go, 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 type eight personality. It's like, folks, here's what happened. I just didn't want to worry about it. I just wanted to do my thing. I wanted to make videos, kind of do my workaholic thing. And it didn't pan out in the end. I didn't think ahead to what um, I could have done during that cold snap, snap to keep my body warm. Can letting your internal temperature go down even by one or two degrees for a day or two really affect your immune system that much where you can get sick? Yes. And they've done some studies. There it is on your um, screen right now. So what I'm saying is, you know, I'm giving myself a lot of grace and um, being a spirit led, walking with Yeshua, walking with the family of God person uh, that I am, um, I did a little encounter with the family of God. They're my internal uh, physician's clinic, if you want. I did an encounter where I met with Yeshua and I met with Holy Spirit and I met with Father and they took me into the physician's clinic in the heavens and we sat down and we had a little talk and they lovingly said, you know what? There were things that you could have done to prevent it. There were, and they showed me that. And I'm so grateful that they always lovingly kind of take me by the hand and said, here, here are the things that you could have done.
all the things I just meant, mentioned. Hey everybody, the Gentle Healthy Traveler here. I apologize. Uh, my phone died right when I was going to say, I hope you have a wonderful end of 2023 and beginning of 2024. Please be on the lookout for many more videos. I know I've been a little bit absent. I am so excited to put together a lot of good content, a lot of important and informative health content for travelers and others. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the road. just want to wrap you up like a little burrito. <laughs>